Hi, I didn't see you coming. I guess you want to know a bit more about our new paper, Scenic Plus, Single Cell Multiomic Inference of Enhancer-Driven Gene Regulatory Networks. Come with me. These are human embryonic kidney cells and the question that our tool uh, can help answer is to find out which uh, mechanisms underlie the expression of important genes for these embryonic kidney cells. And to get to know this we have to zoom into the nucleus of these cells and there we find transcription factors which bind the chromatin thereby displacing nucleosomes and causing genes to be expressed. But unfortunately we cannot look uh, at these transcription factors using the microscope. So for this reason we have to get out the cells, get the nucleus and uh, put them on this complicated machine where we can do single cell uh, multiomics. And using this assay we can profile the regions of the genome that are accessible using a TN5 transposase. And we can also assay which genes are expressed and this will generate a lot of data that we can then analyze using our tools plus which will uh, find gene regulatory networks we call these enhancer driven gene regulatory networks because they contain transcription factors their target regions and their target genes but our tool can do much more besides this analysis and this also uh, everything about this is also explained in the paper so for example we did an extensive benchmarking to show that our tool actually works but we also did the case study of pbmc data we also did an analysis on brains of human and uh, mouse to show that really the code underlying these cell types is very much conserved and then we also have some downstream uh, analysis tools which which we can for example uh, use the predictions from cynic plus to show the effect of a transcription factor knockout and this is interesting for researchers wishing to study what the effect is of transcription factor but also to uh, prioritize which transcription factors they should knock out to induce a certain cell type and then finally we also have a, yet another analysis where we can predict the effect that the has in a differentiation trajectory and this is interesting for more developmental biologists who wish to understand really the development. So if you want to learn more about this, I invite you to read our new paper.